that second game. And that's why we're here now, dead even, one to one. Back into the land of Don. Mm -hmm. Can confirm, RSG Philippines will have to play with that Karina. It's not like AP Bren did not set a precedent. They can do this. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, if they do do it, maybe that's going to like send a message to uh, you know, to AP Bren. You know? This is how you do it. This is how you play it. Exactly. And again, if you're only joining us now, uh, it was a long discussion between all the parties involved, the two teams, our big operations. So again, thank you for your patience and now we're into it. Yay. And even though, again, it is very unique and uh, the last group by our, uh, by AP Bren might actually mess up this Karina jungle more, I am interested to see how RSG will play this Baksha in the EXP lane. That's a double flicker burn from both sides, one from Few and the other from Nats. The aforementioned XP lane Baksha. It's not the first in uh, the long history of our eSport. I mean, yeah. in the early days of Baksha, he was played in the XP. Oh, for sure. And again, oh. it's not surprising at all, but Erad might be in trouble. No level fours, no dashes available. That's first blood for AP Bread. Not really the start you want for a Karina. And again, that's the power of just the second skill of the of the Ruby that don't run Wolf King. Uh, just enough time for the damage of the Lilia and then the Joy to mess up that Karina. And across the board, still uh, all look very similar. Assassin emblems for the jungler and the marksman of these two teams. Wilderness blessings on both mid laners, and it is a uh, toughness and concussive blast along with the wilderness blessing there for a baksha so uh, i think now uh it's very clear to see what the picture of this game might be uh, a lot of objective fights and pick offs specifically if rg and light can find it and a lot of flickers as well <laughs> you can see oh, yes. getting burned yeah. over and over that's again that's right no is that just me why are they so gung-ho about just spending it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're they're definitely gonna lock out in terms of this first turtle but maybe they conceded already. Yeah, it seems like an AP Bren turtle already. Light is here, e right close by. Aqua as well with the Nether Realm ready, but looks like RSG just opting not to go for it at all. And yeah, uh, that was a right call. You, you shouldn't overcommit to the scenario. Uh, Ultimate was up there on that joy. So now AP Bren can, can just continue this momentum over and over again. RSG though, uh, you can tell the slight discomfort coming out of uh, their game and their movements right now. Here comes an invade. Yeah, huge invasion here coming in oh. from Palteezy. Not going to be able to secure that. Palteezy with the penalty zone. Aqua, he's behind. That could mean big problems. So AD Brand, another flicker being used up. I don't see why that was a good idea. It's at 4v2. I mean, yeah, your kits are much better, but three minutes in, after a stolen orange, oh, that, that, that was asking for it. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of overconfidence uh, from the side there of APB, RSG. Though, uh, great response. Now they've uh, adjusted their play here. I think now with uh, Light being level 4, they're trying to f build and find the lead in the gold lane for Emon. But Super Marco senses it. He is uh, safely just farming under tower. It's not easy to be buying some more time here. And there's the advantage you have with that Baksha, right? Just a really quick rotation on mid. Yep, that was uh, the next question I had is, what's that like? Because again, whenever it's a fight that Nats can't win, he just rolls out and then helps elsewhere and then comes back when the wave has already been pushed up. So there is a silver lining to this whole situation, playing a Baksha XP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we talked about it earlier in the draft that, hey, potentially, like, it could work. The theory is there. It's a sound idea. And right now, uh, RG. Uh-oh. There's a catch that you're looking for here, especially if it's Emma. Oh. There's a joy that we're talking about here, AP Brent Flexen. And they catch Emma for it. That's huge stonks here for the goal lane of AP Brent. And now that's enough time to actually prop up for the next turtle. Coming up in about 10 seconds, Aqua here. Very low. Not enough of a commitment. Oh! Woo! Master showing how it's done. But here's a punish. Oh! Light, of course, with the fancy movements here. The flicker and the divine judgment. Pulled him through right the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I rarely see that interaction. Uh, not a bug post, just a very normal thing that, that does happen when you use that flicker. AP Brand will be able to get that turtle, and it is worth it for Ogwen. They get the mid laner down, they get the turtle, but RSG right away trying to clap back and even it out in the bottom lane with pressure, but great response by Few to help out Super Marco. RSG will rotate again in an invade by Kaltizi up top. Uh, really just, again, trying to continue the idea of uh, what they wanted to bring in game number one, which is control the jungle of Irad. And here we see Irad making the most of RSG here. 
They're forcing a response. Yeah. AP Brent coming with a collapse. Yeah, Kalfis is the target, but he's still going to be alive here for Ooh. some reason. Barely making it out there. Jungle for jungle. That's going to be the fight erupting still. Safety for a few, and it's going to be a null trade. Let's see right now. Oh, duel between the two marksmen. Woo, look at that. Emma playing spicy on the Bruno. That's gonna, that might actually have to force AP Brent some responses here because Super Marco could be in trouble if Light catches this guy. Yep, it's a 2v1 down there. Super Marco has to play it very safe. Does not have a sprint and does not have enough lifesteal just yet. Look at his item build. The uh, lone has claws. I don't think that's enough. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, uh, compared to what the Bruno brings to the table, we're all familiar with his ability kit. Uh, usually, it's uh, the Irithal needed to be an item above, or at least have some help. 1v1, that Irithal will always struggle against that Bruno. Later in the game, it's a little bit more even uh, because of they both have access to the Wind of Nature. But at this point, AP Brand, if they really want to build a lead for Super Marco, and they need to help him out even more because RSG have been trying to really do that. The help that Super Marco's been getting has been mostly other than, of course, that one gank that they were able to successfully take Emon down. It's always just been to like, okay, let's just make sure that the uh, RSG won't be able to take Super Marco down and then we'll go. And we're seeing the evidence of why Bruno is just such a good pick. Even with uh, everything that happened, he's actually still the scarier force here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On the bottom side of the map. Yeah, he has taken the role of Beatrix, being ever so reliable, regardless of what phase in the game. N not even mention if he snowballs. Here's uh, the last hurdle of the game here. Spawning up top, AP Bren, about 2k gold ahead, first of the scene, pulling it out of the pit. Yep, Super Marco, uh -oh. getting chased on by Nats, under dirt, he should be safe, but that would mean that AP Bren has a firm grasp of this turtle, seven minutes into the game. No dice, AP Bren just taking it clean there. 100% turtles for game number three. Uh, I wonder, AP Bren just let go of bottom lane. They did, they gave it away, and that, that because of that, they're also going to be just getting resources on the other side of the map. They could also go for mid if they want to. What? Yeah, Even whoa. tier two? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He knew it. He can actually take it down, though. I think he'll have to go and leave eventually. Uh, RSG don't have enough info, and uh, it's right now it's just flap. So I think right now we've already seen uh, the... Yeah, the Baksha works or could work. However, just because of the sheer clear speed that the tourism has, map has been effectively shut down in terms of... Uh, Effectiveness and map presence. Uh, the Flap TG and his Terizla has the number over Nats and his Baksha. Something to note once more, I'm waiting for a fight to break out here. Ogwin spent his flicker. Yes. So that's about 90 seconds until he gets a big ult on to RSG. But oh, there's one! There you go, that's Ogwin gonna get caught out. You don't have a flicker, oh. you're the next target. But here's Kyle, and there goes another realm. Catching off an Erad, no retribution, that could be good. What? But that's gonna be Flap going in here as well. Light no more, Divine Judgment will mean that it might have to be a stalemate. That's a one for one in the end. They're living on the edge. You saw how Super Marco almost went down there. One HP. Almost went down to the land, down under, did he? And that's uh, RSG. Crikey. Crikey, indeed. <laughs> RSG, PH. Now, uh, yeah, uh, I think we're really just starting to see the discomfort of the play style. Absolutely, Govna. They have been responding well, though, weirdly enough. It's uh, a, it's they're a, trying to. It's a compromise, but they're yeah. doing the best that they can. Uh, exactly. Uh, you can still see, uh, again, uh, an idea around it, but even though they get to take down Ogwen right now, the counter punish coming out of the Irithel and the Joy together with the lead that they were able to build themselves mm -hmm. uh, is a problem right now. A lot of it for RSG uh, in this scenario now hinges on Aqua's timing with his Nether Realm and just how much time he could buy it to see if somehow Eman and Irad will be able to dish out enough damage to oh, take down man. the members of APB. Speaking of Irad, he's three levels down to Kyle TZ. Just oh. hit level 11 means that yeah. AP Bren just itching to get that Lord. Forget about it. Contesting, crossing the river. They're lucky to have waves crashing down. They're lucky to have at least these small camps in because that's how bad this is looking. I did not even notice that Irad was down that hard. Yeah, he's just really been playing cash up with his joy. The 
I believe that's another learning that we discovered in terms of uh, the rota rotational speed. But then at the same time, it's also just because uh, Katis has been invading. <laughs> He's on, uh, constantly been uh, Two, going behind. 2,000 gold? Yeah. Dang. It's massive. And because, again, uh, we don't feel Nas as much as we do feel Flap TZ. Uh, Irad isn't getting as much help. Yeah, at this point, uh, it'll take a miracle for Archie to turn things around. Not impossible, but close to it. AP Brand, they could just continue riding this momentum and play this out uh, textbook and fundamentally. Yeah. Yep, look at this, four and one. AP Brent sending Lord through top, and they'll be pressuring mid as well. Let this one be one! A 2v1! Oh. Oh, is he, he going to make it out? I think oh. he is, and that's that kill, just as salt to the wound. Light, he could be in trouble here. Flap TZ for the chase. Oh, run, Light, run! Oh, hey. boy. Kyle! Oh. <laughs> just as you expect. Kylin and Profilin. Just a hit be away from being taken down, and he gets away, comes back, and says, let me finish what you started on to me. What a play by the phenom that is Kyle TZ. Down bottom. Oh! Nice hook in Aqua. Woo! Another realm just for safety. Man, oh man. This RSG comp is starting to fall like a ton of bricks. Or... A stack of Jengas. I think that's what you were going for. Stack of Jengas. This, this, this is AP Bren just knowing and understanding that there's very little R as he presents. Uh, just shows the how important an overall comp is, despite there being some rhyme or reason, some logic to each hero in each role. Mm -hmm. It's safe to say, yeah, optimistically, we can make this work, but not at this level. Absolutely. AP Bren looks like they, had, they got the number, and they just need to... They're just trying to take the the disciplined way around this. And yeah, they're making RSU work even for the smallest scrap of gold around the map. Yeah, and this is at this point, it doesn't even feel like a question of can AP Brand win. It's uh, w when will they win? Yeah. Uh, and how? And how. Yeah. Uh, RSG, they're just, again, of course, uh, you're not going to surrender. You're not going to just uh, start throwing left and right. Uh, again, they're, they're still trying to make this competitive. They're still trying to find a way to turn it around. And hey, earlier in game number one, uh, AP Brand was uh, down a considerable amount and found a w and in game two, rather. And found a way to turn it around. I mean, who's to say, even though, again, it doesn't look, look really good for RSG, that they won't be able to do the same thing. Yep. And now, another Lord spawns. RSG nowhere near the Lord pit. And they're just playing as safe as they could. They're pushing waves, making sure that no permanent damage is dealt to their base. But, gentlemen, as AP Bren secures their second Lord of the game, I gotta say, despite this being RSG, struggling and this game being AP Brent's to lose, we can't say it's 100% AP Brent. We yeah. can't say it's totally their game right now. There is a non-0% chance that RSG comes back. Yeah, yeah, for AP Brent, complacency is the enemy, as well as, you know, just underestimating what your opponent can do mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, like, burst. Because I feel like this lineup of RSG still has a ton of burst in a single target. Yeah, the problem is, though, the wave clear uh, incredibly lacking for RSGPH. At this point, AP Brand can just throw bodies and just make sure Bang. Super Marco is staying in the back. And then Super Marco will just be able to freely hit the people, uh, heroes, or towers! Oh, uh, Flap, speaking of throwing bodies, throws himself straight oh. into Nats as well as Irad, making it clear that AP Brand are here to play here on game number three. All right, they penetrated bottom as well. Concealed play by Ogwin. They're taking this one step at a time, surgically specific. Now the base. Now the base is going to be the target here in Netherrealm just for safety, just trying to do throw everything but the kitchen sink here, and they no! might just repel the AP Bren offensive. Oh. One hit will do it. Will it go down? And it does. It's a 2-1. AP Bren at match point. This winning moment is brought to you by our official sponsor, FWD Life Insurance. Context and situation, regardless of that, AP Bren made their lineup work. Just fundamental, clinical, invades, build the lead for Irad, not for Irad, but make Irad struggle into finding anything. Just play it like a normal game. That's exactly what they did. And just like that, we are looking at AP Bren 